You know what we could close with? I actually Googled this the other day because something prompted me to. Someone, somebody got arrested. And so I decided to Google, you know, what Disney stars, you know, former Disney stars have been arrested. So for the most part, they are like, you know, DUIs, which that's no fun. But um, there's some in here that are just like real eye-opening. And I'm just like, what? Number one, I don't know if many people, I doubt many people that listen to this know who this guy is or what this show is, but we have number one, Stony Westmoreland, Westmoreland, I don't know how to say it, so Westmoreland, that's, you know, you can figure that out, I guess. You may have noticed Henry Ham Mac, Andy's dad turned grandfather, hasn't been on the show in a while. Well, that's because he was arrested in 2018 and fired from the show shortly afterwards. He was arrested for allegedly arranging online to have sex with someone he believed was 13 years old. Hey, yo! If that's not bad enough, the arrest happened in Salt Lake City, Utah, the same place where Andy Mack filmed. Most of Stoney's co-stars were minors. Man, Chris Hansen, I wish this was something that you had covered. I don't know if you have any involvement with this investigation or anything, but... Um, goddamn. I would have loved to have seen him take a seat with Chris Hansen. That's so fucked up, though. God, and he kind of looks... He he is kind of rapey. He does look kind of rapey. Like, I wouldn't be... Like, I'm not surprised just by looking at him. And, you know, never judge a book by its cover, but... Sometimes you're right. Sometimes you're right. Number two, we have Adam Hicks from Zeke and Luther. Zeke and Luther, excuse me. And Lemonade Mouth. In 2018, he was arrested on suspicion of armed robberies. Fast forward to July 2019, he pled not guilty to three felony counts of attempted second-degree robbery and two felony accounts, two felony counts of second-degree robbery. His bail is over half a million dollars and he will remain in custody. God damn. He truly, like, but like, look at him. He's just like, he doesn't look like, I don't know. I don't know. He doesn't look like, I wouldn't it, He's one of those guys I would suspect, like, okay, maybe he, like, had, like, like drug possession or something. I don't know. Oh, some of you might remember number three, David Henry from Wizards of Waverly Place was locked up for bringing a gun to an airport, pretty much. But, you know, it was legally owned. It's just like you can't have that shit in an airport. So nothing really crazy. Nothing that people would be like, oh, David Henry, you're canceled. You brought a firearm into the airport. You were no good piece of shit. No, nothing like that. Honestly, good, because, like, you know, the way people be canceling people on social media and stuff, factors, you know, even nobodies, that, you know, it's just like really extreme. But that's a conversation for another day. I've said that twice already. That might be the episode title. Um, oh, here we go. Number four. Keeping up with the, keeping up with the Waverly Place clan. Um, what's his name? Jake T. Austin. The youngest Russo on Wizards was involved in a four-car hit-and-run crash in 2013. I remember that. When officers arrived to the scene, Jake wasn't there. One witness said they saw the driver of the car that caused the crash and their passengers get picked up by a black car service. Fast forward to 2014, Jake was charged with hit-and-run. However, he was found not guilty and didn't have to appear in court. The judge who heard the case concluded even though Jake fled, he reported the incident to cops within a reasonable time. Okay, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Look at little Max Russo. I love that they use this picture of him. I'll put that, <laughs> I'll post that for people to see. That's funny. Oh, this one, I I'm sure people know about this. Or maybe not. Phil Lewis from The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody and The Sweet Life on Deck. He pretty much, he was arrested. He, he was arrested and sentenced to a year in jail for killing 21-year-old Isabel Duarte while driving drunk. He was 24 years old at the time. That's crazy. Like, it's so crazy to think, like, you see, like, you know, Mr. Mosby from Zack and Cody just, like, on this list. You know, not not to, like, uh, not to, like, discredit him or, like, talk shit about him. It's, like, you know, un unfortunate situation and, like, that it happened when he was very young. It's not, like, anything recent. It's just, like, uh, it's still just so wild. I'm just going to like not even get I'm just not going to get into the ones about that are DUI. I'll just say like their name and DUI just to get on with it. So yeah, Debbie Ryan from Jesse and the Sweet Life on Deck and Radio Rebel, of course. 
DUI. Shia LaBeouf. Oh God, this is a long one. Um, let's see. How do I summarize this? Let's see. When he was nine, he stole a pair of shoes and was held for six hours. <laughs> That's funny. When he was 11, he stole a Game Boy Pokemon from Kmart and was also held for about six hours. When he was 20, he attempted to stab a neighbor and spent a couple of days in jail. Why is that funny? Why am I chuckling at that? In 2007, he refused to leave a Chicago Walgreens and was charged with misdemeanor criminal trespassing charges. A year later, he was arrested for drunk driving, which has happened a few times. He's also been arrested for bar fighting, disorderly conduct, obstruction, and public drunkenness. So that's pretty much Tuesday for Shia LaBeouf. Kelly Berglund, I don't know who the fuck you are. Um, oh, she got caught with a fake ID at Coachella. Classic. William Brent, I don't know who you are. These are a bunch of new Disney kids. Uh, DUI. Kirsten Storms from the Xenon Trilogy and Kim Possible. Wait, let me read this description. Let me read how Seventeen put it. They're like, Zetus Lapidus. Remember that? In 2007, Kirsten was arrested for DUI. Officers stopped her after she threw a lit cigarette out the window of the 101 freeway. What was going to be a littering infraction turned into a driving under the influence arrest when Kirsten failed sobriety tests. That one was fun to read. I, I know I know. I said I was going to not read the uh, the DUI ones, but I just like the Zetus Lapidus caught my mind. Caught my attention, rather. Excuse me. Dutch Whitlock from High School Musical. The skater who just wanted to play the cello in peace during the stick to the status quo number robbed a pizza place at gunpoint in 2008. Wait, what? I don't remember reading this one. Um, That's like two years after High School Musical came out. Bro, what did they not did did they not treat you fairly? Did they not like why? Why would he do that? Oh god, that's wow. Just two years after high school musical. That's insane. I wonder where he's at now. Maybe we'll do a where are they now kind of thing in the future. I don't really care, but <laughs> not about not about this particular guy. I just that you know it's insane because he was in High School Musical and then two years later he did this. But man, Orlando Brown. I think everybody knows about Orlando Brown. Um, he's been arrested for DUI, domestic battery, felony, drug possession, and he was captured by bounty hunters in 2018. That's hilarious. I just imagine uh, Dog the Bounty Hunter and like Leland and all those guys, all his kids, they just like go and like capture freaking Eddie from that Sue Raven. That's hilarious. All right, I gotta skip some of the. I gotta like. We gotta. We gotta wrap up here. So I'm just gonna like rapid fire through these. All right, Mitchell Musso, Hannah Montana, and Phineas and Ferb, DUI. Annalise Vanderpaul, Chelsea from That's a Raven, DUI. Um. Audrey Whitby from So Random and Live and Maddie. I don't know what that second show is, but um, she was arrested pretty much for you know at a protest in 2016. This one really caught my eye because I was in fucking love with La Lane from Lizzie McGuire, but apparently in 2007, and I think this is why we really don't hear from her much these days at all. Um, in 2007, La Lane pled guilty to possession of crystal meth. TMZ reported she initially didn't show up for her court date and the judge issued a $50,000 bench warrant for her arrest, but it was rescinded when she showed up at a later date. She enrolled in the Asian American Drug Abuse Program. Like, if you look at her, she is like, fuck, she is gorgeous. I, I, I don't know, she has this look that I like, and yeah, I'm very, I'm very attracted to her, but damn, that sucks. That's really, uh, that's unfortunate. I wonder what she does now. And number 17 on this list, Daniel Simonas from Wizards of Waverly Place, a.k.a. Mason Grayback, DUI, at Burning Man in 2018. And that's it. That's the list. I'll link it in the description for you guys if you want to take a second glance at it. But damn, that's wild. All these Disney stuff. It's a lot. I'm sure there's more that didn't make the list because it's 17 magazine, whatever the website, they got to put 17 because that's their shtick. But man, glad we got through that. I was like, that was, that was like in the back of my head kind of. So I'm glad I got to 
share that with you guys. All these Disney, you know, felons. <laughs> the Disney felons. Oh my God. Oh my God.